Hello traders, FS Specoletti here. Today is Monday, September 23rd, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar, starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the Aussie, I'm still looking at this as going up for wave Y. I think this needs to make an A, B, C of wave Y to complete this W, X, Y pattern. So, taking it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, first of all, I think this is the wave A, I think this is the wave B, and I think the rest of this is all wave C. So, one, two, I think we're in a wave three of wave C, which should form that pattern that I sold on the monthly time frame. So, taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we're back up at the previous highs, and you can see price is definitely kind of reacting a little bit towards that. But for me, we do not have a break of starts at the downside we do not have a Fibonacci break or a Fibonacci bounce we do not have a lower high so all those things tell me that the trend is up and that I should still primarily be looking for longs on sort of time frames going down to the four hour time frame the market is really really sideways since uh really like the middle of last week very very sideways price that said to me it kind of looks like maybe it will drift down a little bit more to make more of an a more proper looking ABC Kretzen, but for me, I always ignore any counter trend moves because for me, counter trend moves are nothing beyond setting itself up for a good trend trade, hopefully later on. So taking it down to that one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, very, very sideways price action, but I think there is some clarity here. I think this is likely a wave A, for, and I have my Fibonacci retracement from here to here, but I think this is a wave A. I think this is a wave B. I think there is a pretty good chance that it will drift down to maybe the 61% or so for a wave C. But like I said, I do ignore all moves to the downside because to me, moves to the downside are not desirable trades. I am definitely only looking for longs right now, and I'm only looking to go long at the three-way pullback, Fibonacci bounces, and breaks of strutter to the upside. So if it does go down, if it does give us a nice Fibonacci bounce, then that's definitely the next trade that I'll be waiting for, for the continuation of this uptrend. Or if it just keeps on trending up from here, I would definitely just continue to look for longs every single chance I got. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked out here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.